reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus, the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger, rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once fell down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in my company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, God. Thank you. 
Reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, there are lots of first again for us tonight, and it's good to have Ryan and Ava back serving, you know. We priests have had to do all this by ourselves for far too long. It is the right exercise of the ministry of the people of God that we celebrate these liturgies. Um, but we're not alone anymore. And we have never actually been alone. Um, even though we may have been separated from physical distance, we have been united to the Spirit of Jesus Christ and through our sacramental life, even when we were not experiencing the sacraments in such a physical way as, as we would like. And it's in that mind, we're never alone, and we're in this together, 
that I share these words with you this night. With such a future, with such a hope, you and I, we can take part in St. Paul's words. He says, brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the love and the peace of God will be with you. Now this past week, Memo Alonso, our seminary intern, and I, we participated in a protest here, the George, George Floyd protest march sponsored by the NAACP. It was chronicled on the front page of the Ventura Star this morning. It was truly a peace-filled protest, about five, seven hundred persons Inspiring speeches preceded the march around our, our county government buildings. This is a time of hope. It's hope for a better future for our nation, to truly live what our Catholic Church teaches. And so I'm going to quote our Catechism of the Catholic Church. The equality of people rests essentially on their dignity as persons and the rights that flow from it. Every form of social or cultural discrimination and fundamental personal rights on the grounds of sex, race, color, social conditions, language, or religion must be curbed and eradicated as incompatible with God's design. That's our catechism, the catechism of our Catholic Church. You know the fatal arrest and, and, uh, of George Floyd in Minneapolis is one of many, one of many of a long, sad, sorry history in our nation uh, that we've heard all too often. No matter are they black or white, all too often. People of all faiths are called to stand in solidarity with those who have endured or, or have been a, affected by such grievous acts. And until all people, until you and I, each of us, promote justice, promote good education on the dignity of every person and the common good, and advocate for fair and just systems so that all people may live without fear and violence, peace will always remain a challenge. And so, my brothers and sisters, on this Holy Trinity weekend, celebrating the one God revealed in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may we take to heart the message that Jesus says to us in today's Gospel. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. And whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. Heaven. Heaven will involve knowing God, you and I long to go to heaven, yes? yes? Yes, we are citizens of heaven already through baptism, but involves knowing God the Father through Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And this world exists to make souls, beings like you and, and me, capable of, each, of that eternal union with the Holy Trinity. And in heaven, knowledge will not lead to competition. Knowledge will not lead to pride or racism or injustice as it so often does here below. Knowledge and love will be one. We will be one. It does not matter what our status is in this world, in heaven we are all equal in the eyes of God. We see that in the Trinity itself, Jesus 
is the Father's Word. The Holy Spirit is the gift of that Word, the love of Father and Son. And so this Sunday, we underscore our goal, knowing and being known by God. Knowing and being known by God, Father, Son, and Spirit. And with such a future, with such a hope, we can take to heart the words of St. Paul. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. May we all pray in solidarity with the family of, of George Floyd and all those who have suffered from the effects of acts of racism and violence throughout our country. Let us stand with our brothers and sisters in faith and all people of goodwill in praying for an end to racism and violence and stand ready to move forward in faith and action as a nation and world, where every person is valued, where every person is seen, and every person is heard, may we truly live our Trinitarian creed. And so I share with you the prayer that our Archbishop Jose Gomez has offered us, a prayer to overcome racism. Mary, friend and mother of to all, through your Son, God has found a way to unite himself to every human being, called to be one people, sisters and brothers to each other. We ask for your help in calling on your Son, seeking forgiveness for the times when we have failed to love and respect one another. We ask for your help in obtaining from your Son the grace we need to overcome the evil of racism and to build a just society. We ask for your help in following your Son so that prejudice and animosity will no longer infect our minds or hearts, but will be replaced with a love that respects the dignity of each person. Mother of the Church, the Spirit of your Son, Jesus, warms our heart. Please pray for us. Amen. Amen. Now let us stand and... Profess that we are belief in our triune God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light. To God, to God, be God not made consubstantial of the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down to heaven, and the Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified in Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. Rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father as the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. Like the world of God. Amen.
confidence and love, let us bring our prayers before God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For all members of the Universal Church, through the sharing of gifts and respecting of diversity, may we grow in unity. We pray to the Lord. Lord For our world, nation, and communities, plagued by division, racism, hatred, and violence, may leaders demonstrate the way to unity through compassion and respect for all human life, we pray to the Lord. For victims of harsh political and economic systems, may their oppression cease, and may they know wholeness and peace, we pray to the Lord. For all suffering during this time of pandemic, for those who care for the sick, and for our local businesses, we pray to the Lord. For our elect, preparing for the sacraments of initiation, Aaron Duarte, Aaron. Margaret Eddy, Margaret. Alejandro Jimenez, Raiden Landeros, Yandeli Mendoza, Alondra Montejo, Shay Pedria, Shay. and Marlene Saldana. We pray to the Lord. I think next week we're having a special mass where they can receive their Easter sacraments final. For this parish community, may we encourage one another in the life of discipleship. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all in our parish community who are ill or homebound, especially Alicia Tarrant, Cecilia Tibbet, Javier Rodriguez, Jackie Springer, Cicely Ramirez, Jeanette Longwell, and Ann Benoni. We pray to the Lord. For our sisters and brothers who have died in faith, especially Sonny Semenego, we pray to the Lord. And for those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, you unite your people with love. Hear our prayers that we might model communion with each other, where all are valued and respected. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
So that in confessing the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, their equality and majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim, Jew, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and then entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the channels of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and ministry. Humbly we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Archbishop, Robert our auxiliary bishop, your clergy and faithful people everywhere. Remember, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with our blessed patrons, one of the foot, Eucharist, sorry, the Pentateuch, the Lipa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be glorious for eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Spanish masses at 11.30 and 1.30. That is a lot of time to sanitize the church between masses. Unfortunately, we're not quite there yet at opening the church doing weekdays because it takes personnel to monitor that presently. And we hope and pray that soon, among many of these restrictions, we're all good, will be lifted so that we can get back to uh, what we would call normal if there is such a thing as normal. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And now, Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 